one thing you guys don't know about me is that ever since I was a little girl and I saw the show Flipper, I've always wanted to swim with dolphins. So I was so excited to find out that the Indianapolis Zoo is the only zoo in the Midwest that offers an in-water dolphin adventure. So while here in Indy, I get to have one of my childhood dreams come true. And the good news is you can too. Come on. One of the great things you can do here at the Indianapolis Zoo is called a dolphin in water adventure where you get to get up close and personal with the dolphins. I can't wait, I'm so excited. And Grace Metz is an educator here at the zoo. And, and Grace, can you tell us a little bit more about how the dolphins got here to the zoo? Well, the dolphins have been here at this location since they opened about 20 years ago. And they came into the zoo and I have a wonderful group of trainers that have been working with them and several years ago they got it in their minds that they wanted to offer an experience to the public where we could bring the public in and actually have them get up close and personal with the dolphin since it's a dream of a lot of people and through a lot of hard work and a lot of practice sessions we have gotten to the point where we can open it up to the public and allow them to come meet these animals. Tell us a little bit about where they live because it's a fantastic facility and one of the best in the Midwest. Well, they live right here in the Marsh Dolphin Adventure Theater. There are four pools all together and about 2.2 million gallons for them to swim around. They do several shows throughout the day. And a few years ago, we actually underwent a renovation in this building to include the world's only underwater dolphin dome. Okay. So if somebody wants to sign up for the dolphin in water adventure, what, is, what can they expect? Well, something you can expect, you all come in, we give you an overview of the program right in the Education Center, and then we come on over to this building where we do about a 15-20 minute class so you can learn a little bit more about these animals. Then we take you on down to watch our show, and after the show we take you to the locker room to get you suited up just like you are now, ready to go. You will be in the water one-on-one -on -one with a trainer, lots of hands-on time with the dolphins, and they are going to show you some hand signals so you can do the different behaviors with the animals. Okay. Wow. Now, Grace, you're, you're great here at the zoo. Do you have any tips for me before I go? Well, just listen to what your trainer says, and you'll be just fine. Remember to smile for those pictures. Okay, I sure will. All right, well, let's go. I'm getting ready to meet my trainer. And this is Lisa. She is a senior trainer here at the Indianapolis Zoo. And what a fantastic dolphin in water adventure. Did I do good, Lisa? You did really good. Now tell me, how hard is it to train the dolphins? Actually, it's pretty simple to train the dolphins. Um, we use primarily positive reinforcement, and we reinforce, reward the behaviors that we want. And then we try to just ignore the behaviors we don't want and move on to something else. So I, I, it's not because I'm special that I host the Harvest Show that I got to work with them, right? Anybody can come to the zoo and work with the dolphins? That's right. We have all kinds of people, different ages coming in, and all of them just love meeting the dolphins. Right. Now, how long did it take you to be able to work with them? Um, I started actually after I graduated from college at IU. I started as an intern and then I moved on to a seasonal position and then as a full-time keeper. And now after many years, I'm a senior trainer. So when we do the dolphin in water adventure, what are some of the tricks that we can uh, teach the dolphins? Well, some of the things that we like to do are, first of all, just show off a lot of their anatomy because up close you can just see things that in a show and stuff you're not going to see, you know, mm -hmm. really seeing the ears, the eyes, the teeth of the dolphins. Then we like to show off some of the different behaviors and let people do different behaviors that we do during a show because that's pretty fun. And then um, to feed the dolphins, um, although sometimes people don't necessarily like touching the fish that we feed <laughs> as much as touching the dolphins. And we really like to let them touch the dolphins um, to see what they feel like, you know, their backs, their bellies, mm -hmm. their tail flukes, because they all feel different and it's just kind of neat to really feel them and be up close with them. Lisa, I heard dolphins are really smart. They're so smart that, that they could host a harvest show and I'd be out of a job. How intelligent are they? Intelligence is a really kind of a hard thing for us because they are very trainable, but even in humans it's really hard to determine intelligence, and so in another species it's even harder. Each animal's unique, there's different things that they like, whether it's rubbing um, them down or feeding them ice and all kinds of things like that. Do they like working with the people, interacting with them? Yes, most of the time they do. Now they'll let you know if they're just not in the mood for it for the day. You'll see like even during a show that they maybe don't want to perform, or if one of them they might not want to come over, and that's okay. They will try to get you wet on purpose a lot of times. Even after shows, they'll come up and spit water on guests over the glass. Oh my gosh. 
uh, with us, new trainers, they kind of treat as like substitute teachers. And a lot of times they'll do the wrong behavior to see if they can get away with it, mm -hmm. if that person knows what they're doing or not. So it is really kind of cool to see how they'll manipulate things or try things just to see what kind of reaction they'll get. Now, do you use the same dolphins all the time? And we actually try to mix it up. Uh, with the shows, the interactions, anything that we do, we want to give them as much variety as possible from the behaviors that we do to whether they're doing a show or an interaction or just hanging out in the back pool, swimming around and having fun together. Well, it really was fantastic. I want to thank you so much. And guys, you're, you're coming down to Indianapolis. You have got to come to the zoo and experience this for yourself. This is something I will never forget. So thank you so much. And tell the dolphins I said thank you too. Okay. Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right.